Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. EA surprised us all yesterday on Monday with Foot Player Days. Starting on a Monday, man, a Monday promo, basically running a second promo alongside Team 2 of What If this week in FIFA. It's crazy, it's ridiculous. Again, this just goes to show how EA can do whatever they want on this game and not necessarily manipulate, but move the market whenever they want however they want, using promos, using packs, SBCs, and the like. So we'll talk about what this means for the market this week. Of course, the number one thing with these two-for-one packs and the half-priced packs uh, is supply, supply, supply. There's tons of supply coming on the market, so everything that is in packs from Icon Moments to SBC Fodder is getting supplied a lot. Yesterday on Monday was day one. We had lightning round two for one packs, and we have half price packs that are in the store still right now. We'll talk about going forward, could we get even more lightning rounds and what this means right here, right? Basically, they're, this isn't foot player days, it's foot pack days, because literally they're dropping just packs in the game. And an example of that was the 81 plus player pick double, which we'll talk about that. I think we're gonna see more SBCs like that later on this week. So we'll talk again, what happened in this market and if it's going to be like this almost every day this week, what kind of stuff you can expect, right? What kind of stuff can you expect from cards being in packs, being packed and supplied? And what does that mean for some of the most meta icon moments that are out there, but also gold cards that are in packs like this Mbappe, like Neymar. Mbappe right now is 650,000 coins, which is actually bouncing back up from where he was earlier today. So let's talk about what happened yesterday on Monday. These cards got, there was obviously a lot of panic right before the content drop because EA dropped the loading screen of foot player days, literally an hour, an hour before it was going to drop. They just said, oh, hey, here, we're going to drop this foot player days promo. And boom, there it was. Mbappe went all the way down to about 600,000 coins and is now rebounded back to almost where he was earlier in the morning. Now, I'd be careful with this because if they're going to drop more lightning rounds, which it honestly seems like since this whole promo is about special pack offers every day, they might drop more two-for-one pack lightning rounds today on Tuesday. I'm not sure if they're going to do it every single day, but that's something that we could be expecting uh, with this whole pack-based promo, right? Neymar was 490k. He's bounced back a bit. Gold Ronaldo is still down a ton. Everything that was in packs today got absolutely destroyed. Look at these what-if cards. Richarlison was 1.6 mil last night. He is a million coins flat. He was under a mil for a portion of the daytime, right? These cards have dropped like crazy. Morales was 1.1. Diada was like 160, 170K. Ricardo Perez down 50K. Regulon is down a lot. I mean, these, these cards are nuts how much they are down. Uh, this week's team of the week, I'm guessing, is getting absolutely flooded as well. Lewandowski is down 100K. De Young is down a bunch. Boadu is down to like a price that he actually should be. And it's going to be interesting because now what happens when you have a lot of supply like this? is everything like special card wise. So the what if team twos, team of the week 23 is just going to be super duper supplied for the rest of this year, right? These cards are going to have way more supply than any other team of the week or most other promo teams because we have these half price packs and half and two for one pack from lightning rounds that are coming out and people are not just opening them with FIFA points. They're opening them with coins, man, with coins. People are opening them with coins because they think it's going to be worth their money to go out and buy a pack. Yes, yeah, some people might make money back from opening a 100k pack with coins and getting two packs for the price of one. You might make your coins, but EA is just going to turn down the pack weight and you're going to be packing fodder, which of course is always in packs. And that is why you saw a lot of the fodder market get destroyed today. Basically what this promo is, in my opinion, this is fodder control by EA Sports. Fodder price control because they saw they put out so many SBCs and they got prices to be so high for SBC fodder that now they ha honestly had kind of like no choice uh, but to kind of bring that fodder back down. Now fodder ne necessarily isn't low. It's really not. 86s are 29 to 30,000 coins, which if you look at these individual card graphs, that's kind of still up, right? These cards, you know, they went to 30,000 coins earlier in February and that was a peak, right? They were down to like 24K, the lower 20s and the, the peak at the higher 20s for like the past month. But for this past week or so, SBC fodder has been super duper inflated because of that mid or prime pick SBC and all the other SBCs we've had that has kind of become like the new normal. So fodder right now isn't low. And I honestly think, depending on what SBCs EA bring out or don't bring out later this week, Fodder could just keep going downwards because, again, the supply 
is massive and it's incredible. And also you have people who invested in fodder that were expecting this foot player days promo to be at the end of the week on Friday. And all of a sudden, bang, they're dropping it right now on a Monday. So people have lost a lot of coins on fodder. People have lost a lot of coins on these what if team two cards. So generally the market consensus right now is people aren't super happy. And you know why? It makes sense because people are losing a lot of coins. There's definitely, this is 100% a market crash because people are selling out of pack special cards like this Bastoni, right? This is an area of the market that we, we're really gonna have to watch this week because almost every day, I'm expecting to probably see a little bit of panic selling headed into 6 p.m. The most of it was probably today, of course. Uh, but if we're getting two for one packs every single day or some sort of new pack released every day, people are going to you know, anticipate that, try to get their coins and maybe look to either rash invest or to be able to participate in that content. At 6 p.m., they're going to be selling their cards. Bastoni was down from 196K down to 174 and is now back, bounced back to 190. So that's the stuff. As we're taking a look at the market today and looking at these prices bouncing around, 100% keep your eye on stuff that is out of packs, of course, that is stuff that people just like to use in FIFA, that bounces around, that is rare, that is, you know, like that Bastoni. There's not a lot of center backs in the Serie A that have th that good of links, right? Or like this Teo Hernandez. Did he get panic sold today? Because he's 270, 280, which is kind of where he was anyway. Sunday night, he was 284, went down to 235. No way, man. So stuff like this, right? Look at cards that are just very meta for their position, for their nationality, for their league, just meta popular cards in FIFA that are out of packs. What happened to Bruno today? Bruno was down to 720, and he's back to basically almost 800,000 coins. So right, there was a there was a flip opportunity there. Rashford is 940. A lot of these out of pack special cards are what we're gonna have to keep our eyes on through the rest of this week because that's gonna be the stuff that if there is panic selling, that's what's gonna bounce back. But every single day that there are two for one packs or there's more packs added to the game, that is draining coins off of this market. So you can't expect like we saw. We saw that Bastoni go from 195 to 174. Now he's back up to 190. Tomorrow he might go down to like 170 again, but he he might not ba bounce back up to 190 because there's less coins in the game and less people may want to go and buy him back. He might only bounce back up to like, let's say 180. And then your trade is not really worth it there after tax. So what you really need to see on the out of pack special cards and all of this stuff that's on the game, if it's getting especially packed and it's getting... Um, you know, like a lot of these prime icon moments are getting supplied like crazy today with all these packs and it's dropping their prices like nuts. Um, after you see all that supply, it has to go lower every single day after that first day. Honestly, in my opinion, if you want to try to buy that card to flip it for profit, because if it's going to bounce back, there's going to be less buying power, a little bit less every, oh my gosh, what a bid. 953 for this guy. Yo, that's so cheap. That is so cheap. This, these cards, I sold this guy yesterday, literally 24 hours ago. I sold this uh, Luis Hernandez El Matador for 1.3 million coins. And now the guy is a mil flat, right? This Moments Rivaldo was selling at like 2.2, 2.3. He's now 1.5, right? Insane, insane drop-offs on the stuff that is in packs. But again, just to close that thought off, 100% be watching off on, be watching for price drops on just meta cards, headliners, team of the week cards, freeze cards, team of the group stage, rule breakers, record breakers, all of these cards, as long as EA doesn't supply them anymore on the market, like drop some sort of party bag SBC or, you know, like this is the thing that scares me a little bit about this promo. And I'm not trying to like make you guys fearful or whatever, but when they release packs like this, an 81 plus player pick double, of course, non-repeatable, but you, we, we get the gist of this, right? Non-repeatable. And if the whole point of this promo is special pack offers and they're like doubling everything, what's against EA from stopping them from putting out like an 85 plus pack double or an 84 player pick double like they did or even releasing like a party bag double, guaranteed what if double, right? Everything that they have, they can probably just double it like this. Evidently, they don't have to add a new pack code to do an 81 plus double, they can just do it. So that's the thing with these special pack offers and with this whole foot player days, if they're going to be doing two for one packs or half priced stuff, then we might continually see new pack offers every day that have something to do with them doubling some sort of upgrade SBC or some sort of content, right? So that is the thing for me that is a bit, I guess, scary with this promo. But if you think about it this way, 
even if they were to release, let's say they release like a double party bag SBC or a double guaranteed what if, right? Then honestly, you would probably see fodder spike right away before it got supplied and undercut from that day's lightning rounds and two for one packs. So you can still maybe trade with fodder every single day, depending on what content comes out. Like today, I feel like we might get some what if, uh, content as well, but honestly, this promo is just like a tag along to what if, and they're just adding on a bunch of packs. They did add an objective today, which of course is for a pack. You get some of those great, lovely 75 plus rare player packs. We love those, right? Uh, and then for the whole group reward, you get a prime gold players pack. So GG's, I guess if you play some games, you get a 45 K pack, but again, the out of pack stuff is probably the safest arena to go about right now. But honestly, the way that I see this going this week is EA is probably going to release more like, you know, we're going to have UEFA marquee matchups just all about this week. It's going to be supply, 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 tradable packs, you know, two for one packs, half price. And that's just taking a lot of coins off this game. So honestly, what my best advice to you would be is making quick in and out quick flip moves, right? Like I'm looking at icon moments. Yes, it's a bit risky because every day they're probably gonna be getting supplied with more packs, with more two for one stuff, with people losing coins as well and selling these cards. A lot of these keep dropping. You might even see, or you're probably gonna see panic selling on these guys headed into 6 p.m. every day because people are expecting them to get supplied, to get packed and for them to drop. So. That's one thing we'll have to watch out for with a lot of cards in this game, with the team of the week, with the what if cards. Um, we have Champions League today, of course. I mean, I'm not expecting those cards to be affected that much, but that's like one area of the market that is, I guess you could say, untouched. Although there was panic today. Uh, you had this Akanji Road to the Final, who was almost 700,000 coins before the content drop, went all the way down to like 640, now is back up to 689. So definitely keep a watch on, especially if we think about Wednesday's games tomorrow. Today, you've got, of course, Dortmund and Sevilla, Juventus and FC Porto. And then tomorrow and Wednesday, you've got Liverpool, Leipzig and PSG Barcelona. So especially for the Wednesday game, if, the, if somebody like Salah today, if this market is losing coins, you know that Salah and Liverpool are most likely going to make it on to the next leg. And if this guy who was 2.3 mil right now, if there's panic selling on this and he's down to like 2 million coins today on Tuesday, you're like, all right, this is going to be hyped up tomorrow on Wednesday. That would be a card that I would look at for a potential flip or like Manchester City with Southampton. There's not really, I don't think there's any Manchester City um, what if cards unless I'm blatantly forgetting somebody, which I don't think I am. So like, Unless it's a live item that's going to get an upgrade or, you know, potential Athletic Bilbao is playing Atletico Madrid in the midweek or uh, Olympic Marseille is playing Stade Rene. So you've got uh, Thalvin and you've got Berchiche with, with potential goals or clean sheets for what if cards, potential upgrade hype there. So that's kind of the stuff that I would look for for a bounce back if there's panic selling today. So honestly... It's tough right now because you're like everywhere you go on the market, there's either panic selling because people are selling cards because they don't have coins anymore from opening packs with coins. There's a lot of supply because what if cards have absolutely been destroyed because EA keeps supplying them uh, or it's, you know, icons. You've been trying out some icon moments and, and those are getting destroyed as well. It's kind of tough out here right now, right? And that's just by EA's design. That is their plan with doing all this, dropping the market, making SBC fodder cheaper. It's going to get low again and a lot of people are going to invest in it, all right? And that's, that's the point that I want to leave you with today. Even though we're in this big big unknown with what's going on there's probably going to be a new promo this friday not sure what it is hopefully we get a new promo this friday if not it's going to be pretty dead but i mean the whole point of ea dropping fodder like this is to maybe make it more accessible and it's just the natural fluctuation of the game they're like yo these sbcs are getting too expensive i mean take a look take a look at how much these sbcs have dropped in price you look at malqui who is 270k yesterday he's 220 joe hart's 140k where's player of the month messi that's what i don't see 1.75 mil for player of the month messi nedved's 800k to do his sbc the mid or prime pack is 920,000 coins this was 1.3 mil almost a couple days ago right i gotta finish leroy fair he's 72k i'm gonna keep waiting it probably might even drop more tomorrow today you know so like stuff like this the fodder is going to continually get supplied if we don't get any more big time repeatable upgrade SBCs that or some sort of like um, guaranteed player pack or a party bag or something like that. The fodder is probably just going to continue to slide off, even though 
even though it's bounced back a little bit, right? If you take a look at some of these like index 86, it's bounced back a little bit from where it was today. It went down to 374 points. Now it's up to about 386. You know, EA has to continue to release content if that's going to go back up. And again, we just have to remind ourselves, and I, I want to remind you, that all of this SBC fodder was just crazy, crazy, crazy overpriced. It's probably not going to get back to where it was right away. It's going to take big SBCs from EA, like another icon player pick, to make you know your Kevin De Bruyne go back up to 140,000 coins. This guy was 80k before this last weekend. Went up to 140k. He's now back down to 110. So again, a lot of people are probably going to start investing in SBC fodder as we get later on this week. They're going to say, hey, this is getting too cheap. But I don't think you can expect to see all of that fodder go back to where it was later or as we saw earlier this week because we're not going to have that similar type of content. Now, I guess if EA releases another mid or prime pack, people will be all over it. And yes, fodder will probably go up. Maybe not as much as before, but fodder will go up. So I'm just kind of putting that in your mind as well. I feel like there's going to be a lot of potential overinvestment on fodder. People will be thinking to invest in it because of what they've seen happen. Now, of course, I'm watching a lot of these icon moments because I love trading with these and people are still trying these out. And there's probably even more hype and some more demand for trying these players out with their prices getting absolutely destroyed because of all the supply that has happened. But uh, you have to always be careful, of course, because you have guys like this Luis Hernandez, who I almost bought tonight at a million coins because I thought it was a deal. And now he's back down actually still selling at a million coins. So these cards are going to fluctuate a lot. Notice the icons that are super duper rare, like this Hugo Sanchez is just very rare. Baccio is pretty rare. I should have bought this one tonight at 1.398 uh, because I would have been able to sell that right around 1.5. He sold there multiple times tonight. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on the fluctuations on these. The out of packs cards though are going to be your best bet because again, as people are losing coins, those are going to trickle down. But with the hype and with the the content that EA release every day, you're going to see them fluctuate a little bit. So that's kind of my thoughts on this Foot Player Days promo. And again, the whole premise behind this is for for EA to drop the fodder market, in my opinion, uh, and for them to give us packs right because they know people just freaking love packs this is draining a lot of coins off the game it's going to make the market cheaper as a whole which is good in a sense because it makes us have potential for some bounce back on some cards like these what ifs as they score goals and have clean sheets and we've got upgrades coming tomorrow as well so that's one thing that i would take a look for in the panic you've got this x pepe card who is going to get upgraded to an 88 and how cheaper 88s on the game right now right this is forty six thousand coins this guy's going to an 88, and the cheapest 88 in the game is 50,000 coins at the moment. Uh, and so, you know, these are 46,000 coins. If this was lower today, that was probably a good buy. But, you know, you think about cards that are also getting upgrades. I don't know if there's anybody else from uh, Team 2, but from Team 1, you've got Smallings going to a 90-rated card. Marcelo, who is 81,000 coins, is getting an upgrade. Sancho is still one goal away from getting upgraded. Le Melu is almost getting an upgrade too, right? There's other cards that are getting upgraded this week that we need to keep an eye on because there are, you know, potential hype and potential people investing in those cards because of that upgrade coming. So just just seriously, watch the out-of-packs market, stuff that is very valuable that people like to use that is rare. Open bids are 100% still going to be your best friend on all sorts of cards across this game because as people lose the, right now, when stuff like this happens, people lose their their drive and their motivation to grind because it's not easy. It's not fun. They're losing coins and it just doesn't seem to be going their way in a lot of cases. So um, that's one thing to do is uh, this game's probably going to lose a bit of hype this week because people will be hopping off the game. They, they opened the last of their coins to get two for one packs. They didn't make many coins back and they said, screw it. I'm going to play something else or do whatever. So that's kind of the risk that happens when we have promos like this. But honestly, once this is over, what you probably might see is, and we saw this last year, was generally the market bounced back. After this promo will end, probably after maybe next weekend's weekend league sell-off or even at the end of this week, maybe Friday night of this week, all of the people that have just not bought cards because of this promo going on or EA has taken a lot of coins off the market, whatever promo would maybe come this Friday, probably Friday night, you would see a healthy bounce back on a lot of the rest of the market. Maybe even that's starting a little bit Thursday after rewards and into Thursday night um, with some out of pack special cards. But, but I honestly think stuff's going to probably continue to trickle off this week because I think EA is really going to milk this here with the special pack offers 
just like we had this double 81 today, I feel like there's potential for a lot of other crazy packs that they could release just double. So that's going to be interesting. I'll probably open this pretty soon and, and see what I get. Uh, and then we'll see what comes out today on Tuesday for content. I'm, I really don't even know what to expect. I, I really don't even know. It could be anything, right? I do think though that EA will probably see how fast lightning rounds sold out. I think there was like 20,000 of the 50K, 100K, and the 125s today. So I think EA is going to release those lightning rounds almost every day. I would not be surprised if they did it every day uh, because they know that that's a huge draw for a lot of people in this game. There's two foreign packs out. So that's kind of the video for today, man. This market, I feel like I've made a, a video like in the past week, like three or four times with the words market crash. But that's honestly what's going on, right? EA has crashed the market once with crazy SBCs and draining people's coins because they're spending crazy amounts of money on fodder cards. And now they're draining the market again and crashing the market again because they're supplying the market, trying to reset those prices. But when they're doing that, they're supplying the rest of the game, making special cards drop, which makes gold cards get packed a bunch and those drop. So it's just complete madness right now. A lot of people are losing coins. So that's why the best thing, in my opinion, is to be quick in, quick out with some flips, out of pack specials, icons, if you want to be a little bit more risky with it, and maybe with some rash investing on fodder, depending on what content they release at 6 p.m each day. So that's the video for today, boys. If you have any questions, of course, drop them down below. I'll be active in the comments down there. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.